Guten Tag, and welcome to the fourth installment of German Month. This time around, we're having a look at Schneiderweiss Tap Einer Helleweiss, which comes in at 4.9% alcohol by volume. And uh, yeah, this time around, it's in a 500ml can that's been deep chilling in the Swillingrog beer fridge for a wee while. Now, um, I have a bit of a anecdote to share with you about this one. I believe this would have been one of the first wheat beers I ever tried a good 18 or so years ago. And um, yeah, I didn't enjoy it very much. Uh, yeah, it was a while before I tried a wheat beer again. And, um, you know, obviously uh, developed a taste for them. Hmm. So uh, yeah, we can certainly uh, all grow um, is what I'm uh, saying and expand our uh, taste buds, uh, <laughs> folks. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, well, let's just crack this uh, open and I'll pour it out into this uh, Spiegelau American wheat beer glass. Yes, it's an American wheat beer glass, but it is a Spiegelau, which is from Germany. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do that for something different. Uh, yeah. Okay. Getting a nice amount of head as you do with a um, yeah, Hefeweizen. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, appearance. Well, yeah, it's a somewhat hazy, yeah, golden color, very effervescent, uh, nearly four, four, actually four fingers of uh, off-white head. Yeah, looks very enticing. So uh, onto the uh, aroma now. Okay, you're definitely getting uh, a lot of yeastiness, yeah, doughy sort of smell, I suppose. Uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, banana, more sort of banana peel. Um, hmm. Maybe a very, very faint uh, smell of clove uh, as well, but I really had to search for that. Hmm. So anyhow, we've talked about the appearance and uh, the aroma. So it's time for the taste test. Yeah, it's been quite some time since I've had a uh, Schneiderweiss uh, beer. Hmm. Radio, cheers to you all. Hmm. Well, um, up front, you know, getting a nice bready malt hit, um, you know, definitely tasting that, uh, you know, banana flavor that's really coming through, you know, it has a nice crisp, uh, sort of finish, you know, nice amount of carbonation. Hmm. Wow. This really has hit the spot. Um, I must have another gulp. Hmm. You've been getting a little bit of a prickly, you know, very subtle sort of prickly sort of, um, you know, some, you know, mouth feel or sensation on the sort of tongue. Hmm. But it dries out real quick and just leaves that lovely doughy, banana-y like flavor lingering in the palate. Wow. Absolutely superb. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really in awe of this. Wow. And to think years ago, I found this uh, awful. Yeah. Um, the body, I guess, is somewhere between uh, medium and full, uh, leaning towards full. Yeah, it's definitely another bold, uncompromising brew. You know, very tasty and, uh, you know, very drinkable. Certainly uh, one concession to, um, you know, at 4.9% ABV. Yeah, my initial research actually said it was 52 but... Yeah, on the can here it says 4.9, so at some point they've lowered the ABV, which is disappointing, but still, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, stronger than your biggest, you know, your strongest uh, full strength beer in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I hate that concept of mid strength and full strength. It's just, yeah, just utter rubbish. Mm. But anyhow, I digress. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, this is just a superb brew and um, definitely one that I'd recommend to you all. Let me just have another gulp here. Mm. It's even like the slightest bit of sort of citrus there as well. Bit of a, a slight sort of lemony tang um, to it. Mm. But it's just beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I'm so impressed. Uh, the only thing that lets it down, of course, is the price point. Best part of $10 for this can. Mm. But yeah, we all know who uh, yeah, rakes in the money from that, unfortunately. And it's not the place or the, you know, the bottle shop selling it. <laughs> yeah. Rightio. Well, um, I guess we'll, um, you know, have one, uh, one last gulp and give it a score out of 10. Hmm. Well, I do hope you're all uh, enjoying this uh, German month. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I certainly have a lot of, uh, interesting brews lined up. Well, what I think are interesting and, you know, I mean, funnily enough, they're not ones that I'd um, stumbled upon uh, for the most part or you know being able to get my hands on in Australia until recently yeah so anyway let's have this one last gulp and give it a score out of 10 mm. righty well all in all yeah it's a flawless wheat beer very tasty um, yeah I could drink many of them but all I have, unfortunately, is just this one can. So, uh, yeah, it's a definite 10 out of 10 brew. There's no doubt about it. So uh, if you see it, you must try it. Hmm. Okay, well, as I say, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this now. And uh, I'll see you all in the next review, I guess. But uh, until then, auf Wiedersehen.